giving you a short tour of my room. That's a microphone stand I used to focus the camera. This is my calendar. I don't even know what month that's on. Last thing I put on here was from January 5th. It's April 2nd. I'm starting a video notebook. And this is basically a notebook where I can write down the thoughts that I have when I should be doing schoolwork. So uh, let's just dive right in, shall we? Just want to let everybody know that I have what some may call a half fro. It's a half afro. It's not a full afro, but it's not not an afro. Half fro. There's nothing else I can do with my hair. Let's fix this up a little bit. How are we looking? Same as we started. Today I wanted to talk about man buns, because that's something that we have today. I want to clarify that by man buns, I am talking about a hairstyle. Get, hey, get your, get your mind out of, out of the gutter. I don't know about you, but it seems like girls are crazy over this. What do you think about man buns? Man buns. Like buns on a man. Why did you call the FC So what's your answer? Yes or no to the man bun? I don't like them. Man buns? I love man buns. What are your thoughts on man buns? No, let's go. And um, man buns? Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> Absolutely, why not? I love man buns, and you know this. Yes, it's attractive. Yes. No. Oh, uh, yes. Why? Yes. Okay, cool. I've seen the man bun worn a couple different ways. In my personal opinion, I think that a messy man bun should be the way you go. Not a tight man bun, and here's why. A tight man bun conveys the message that you're really uptight and you always got some place to be like, Hey! Hey! I got a tight bun! A messy man bun might convey something like this. Um, hey! <laughs> Life. I'm gonna go to the beach, yeah? Maybe rub my man bun in the sand a little bit. <laughs> so I've stated the fact that I cannot currently wear a man bun. If I were to make an assumption right now about what my man bun would look like, it'd probably just look like a curly puff ball in the back of my head. Not saying that looks bad, might be a little bit aphrodastic. Since I can't wear a man bun, I have thought of a new style. Feel free to experiment with this hairstyle. If you want to have a little fun, try something different, maybe set a trend. First you take a little scrunchy thing. It helps if it is made for children and is pink. Pink scrunch. Next step, take the scrunch thing. You gotta gather some hair first. If your hair is like mine, you gather what I call the wilderness. If it hurts, you're doing it right. I've named this little this little guy the uh, whale spout because it looks like a whale spout or a blowhole. As you can see, if you wear this hairstyle, you do not have the privilege of having a face. The front-facing whale spout is a success. I'm hoping the whale spout becomes a really popular thing and overruns the man bun, because I think it's got potential. Now, if there's a guy with a whale spout or a man bun, who are you going with? The whale spout, always. Obviously. Thank you so much for watching. Avery, do you like man buns? I like the water spout. Or, it's whale spout. I love the whale spout. Everyone does. High five. Found it. Boom. Say bye bye. Adios. Say bye. No, I want to go with you. I want to go with you. What do you mean? I want to go with What do you think about man buns? My butt? No, <laughs> like hair. They're all right. <laughs> They're all right. You think you could ever pull off a man bun? No. And yeah, what about me? Uh, you think I could? I don't know. You're you're mad, so you might be able to. I might, I might be able to. Okay, I forgot to include this in the original video, so I'm just gonna put it in now. So that last person I just called was Garrett Collins. He is a musician, he's a singer and guitar player. He's just really, really good, really talented. You need to check him out everywhere. His website is GarrettCollins.com. You can check him out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So definitely follow this guy, you won't regret it. Super talented. Thanks for watching.